Well, welcome back to the big show at Henderson Settlement. We are live and in action right here today on Thursday here at 1 o'clock on September the 6th. And man, things are uh, happening, Vicki. Yes, they yeah, are. Yes, they are. <laughs> things are going on. And now you uh, just want to alert you today that, you know, I've kind of got this all to myself. Last week I was uh, mm -hmm. on staycation. I didn't go anywhere. I just stayed home and, <laughs> and did honeydew jobs. Uh, yeah, yeah, and, and uh, honey, I didn't get many of those done, which kind of what it is this week. So anyway, uh, but Mike and Mike Feely, who is unofficially not with us and all that, he left us, but he was back visiting, so he helped Casey out, and nobody has saw either of those two people since they did that video last week. So they were down in the park, and they, they were walking around and showing it, and I think they have absconded or somebody jumped them. They about got packed <laughs> off by a squirrel. It is, you know, squirrels are packing off a lot of nuts right now. Those two nuts probably got stashed away. <laughs> that just, uh, just put that out there. Uh -huh. Yeah, because, you know, normally Casey would be here with me, and, and she's not. So I think, I think, yeah, she's, I think Casey's stuffed up in a, in a uh, knot in a tree somewhere, <laughs> getting ready for the fall, winter. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we're glad to appreciate you folks joining us. And and uh, I've got, uh, man, it is warm this week. Oh, muggy and warm and all that. But I think we got a cooling trend coming. I hope so, kind of for the early part of fall now. So we're, we're looking forward to that. But uh, I've got one group here this week, or Henderson Settlement has one group here this week, uh, from uh, Mount Pisgah United Methodist Church in uh, North Carolina and in uh, Greensboro, North Carolina, Greensboro, North to be Carolina. exact. Yes. And you've got 17 folks, I think, with you. That's correct. Yep. Yes. And so so uh, this is the uh, week was Labor Day on Monday, of course. And so y'all come in on Tuesday afternoon. That's correct. And, and I think you're maybe staying through Friday night, leaving out Saturday morning. We're leaving out Saturday morning, yes. Yeah. So so they're here and and, uh, and a lot of good folks. And now uh, with me today, is this is Vicki Apple. Yeah. Apple don't fall from the tree. <laughs> Yeah, I just I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so so Vicky, is is this your first trip here to Henderson Settlement? No, I came last year with uh -huh. a group. We brought about fifty here last year. Right. Yeah, big group. Um, our pastor that had been fairly new to our church, Reverend Jeff Johnson, mm -hmm. had been coming to Henderson Settlement for many years yes. from a previous church where mm -hmm. he was. Right. And when he came to Mount Pisgah. It's like, oh, we have to go to Henderson Settlement. Yeah. Oh, that's so, good. um, so we brought a large group last year, and like, like Jerry said, we've got seventeen this year, mm -hmm. and uh, having a ball and just, just really enjoying yeah. ourselves well, here. Good, good. So now, so out of that seventeen, are all seventeen returning people, or are some of them new? Some of them been here before. Some are returning. Some have. Some came last year. Right. So we, we just kind of have a combination this yeah. year. Yeah. So so you know, and I usually like to ask this question uh, to to folks like you that have been here. So you know, how did um, and, and I guess you kind of touched on it, but um, other than Jeff, uh, who who kind of had had been coming before, were y'all did y'all have any um, working knowledge of of Henderson Settlement, what we did here, or anything like that? I did not. Uh, I don't think most people did. I know Jeff did some um, mm -hmm. some sessions with us before we right. came to introduce us mm -hmm. to to the place, what we would find sure. when we got here, just some background information and yeah. so forth. Yeah. And uh, so that that way, when we came, we kind of knew a little mm -hmm. bit more. But but it was new to me. Yeah. I had never really heard of it yeah. until last year. You know, we hear that a lot. You know, uh, practically uh, across the the United Methodist Church landscape, let's say across the country. Um, Redbird Mission, uh, Redbird Missionary Conference, you know, is people may not know exactly what that is, but they've at least probably at some point or another heard of that, you know, so they have, oh, yeah, I think I've heard of that. Right. Where Henderson Settlement quite isn't as much. So even though, you know, Greensboro really is not that too terribly far away, and even if locally, there's some places, places you know, no, I'm not familiar with Henderson Settlement. So that's one thing that we've, it's not, it's, it's, it's kind of been a, uh, 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 a real effort for us is try to keep that word out there or spread that word and, and get into places right uh, and and let them know you know that you know we're ministry here and you know we'd love to have folks to visit and, and if you're out there and perhaps this is the only way you know about Henderson settlement or if you know places Methodist churches other churches doesn't have to be Methodist that would like to bring a youth group or an adult group like Vicky's I think you all are all adults so we are, we are. Um, or just you know intergenerational it doesn't matter uh, you know Want to come for a short visit, a day, two days, 
we can, whatever you know we can we can set that up for you so uh, so that's a great thing so that so so last year is essentially was your immersion that's type, correct type thing uh, into that so uh, what kind of impression oh oh well, better be careful I didn't I didn't <laughs> I didn't I didn't test this before I asked you you got you sometimes you, the old saying goes never ask a question without knowing the answer <laughs> that's right that's I, right I, I might be one. so the question is well, I'm going to go out on a branch out on a limb here. Um, so what was the impression? How, how did you feel about that once you learned a little bit about it? And then also, again, this year, uh, you know, what, how, do, what do you, how do you feel about this ministry? What, and what we try to say that we do and, 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 you know, reaching out to people. What's your impression of that? To, to me, it, it's amazing um, all that you guys are doing here at Henderson Settlement, you know, from the, from the, um, the thrift store mm -hmm. to, the, to the food pantry to the, the my house house um you know sorting the baby clothes to working in the greenhouse sure. to just so many different things and one of the things that is so impressive to me is there are things for any skill level uh any age group you know um th there's things for you to do here and and even you know we've talked a lot about it among ourselves the the camaraderie within the people in our church sure. just getting to know people better through being yeah. here the relationships uh has just been amazing yeah. friendships you know you see people in church you call them by name but you you don't always really know them yeah. but opportunities like this give a yeah. chance to do that mm -hmm. so yeah that that's really really great to hear you know and that i, I think sometimes folks um if, if they've not really been um uh, in in some on mission trips before or involved right. in something like this, they don't really think about, well, you know, this is a great opportunity for a bonding experience Absolutely. within our group mm -hmm. and, and, and for the church mm -hmm. uh, in, in a lot of ways, too. Uh, because I do hear that often with mm -hmm. groups that have been here before say, hey, listen, mm -hmm. you know, this, you know, we, we are coming to help folks and help the ministry mm -hmm. of Henderson Settlement, you know, but we get so much out of this. Just as as a as a unit or self and growth, and uh, you know that that's a that's a God thing, right? Yeah, you right. We, we can call it a lot of different things, and, and but you know that's a God thing. Absolutely, really absolutely. And I know I've been on several mission trips to Costa Rica before. Oh yeah. And um, just uh, the fact that there's so much that we can do right here in our own country. Sure. Uh, you know we don't have to go to Costa Rica or Honduras or anywhere. Mm -hmm. Just here in the United yeah. States to help to help the people. And to me that's yeah. That's yeah. so so needed. It, it is, and and you know and that's really admirable, and and uh, certainly we appreciate you know that attitude, you know, and, and it's not that other places, you know, Costa Rica and right. places, you know, Honduras and whatever, uh, places like that don't uh, need that assistance. They do, you know, right. but you know, God calls us to different things in different places. That's exactly and, right, and we try to be and and attempt to be, and hopefully we. Um, you know, do a, a fairly good job of that, of, of being available for people who are called for this type of thing. And, and um, there's, there's a lot of need here. There's a lot of great things here too. I, you know, I, I hope one of the things that, that I, I'm, I'm kind of getting ahead of myself for, for the Thursday night <laughs> program, but one of the things I always hope that folks like you uh, that, that come in, you know, they, that they recognize and, and feel as much as anything else is that, you know, the people, there are a lot of challenges here. And a lot of needs and, and things of that sort, you know. But the, the, there's a lot of good things here too. A lot of really, really great people, uh, and and that people that that care about what you folks do, yeah. that 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 uh, are God loving people, and 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 that uh, and then there's those folks who are unchurched that that need the Lord, and you know, right. and you folks help do that, and and uh, you know, sometimes folks just need a just you know a, a hand up or a, you know just a, a little extra help and you folks provide that you know it's a uh, um it's, it's just really truly an amazing thing and, and one of the things that. uh yesterday several of us worked in the with some of the seniors in the senior center and one of our ladies brought some crafts to make mm -hmm. and so they they were just so excited and it was so neat for me to see some of the same ladies that i saw last year oh, yeah. And, and to see them again. And I know then uh, we went in and did devotions mm -hmm. with the seniors and that was a really unique experience sure. there. And, and one of the ladies was, she was just so sweet and spoke up about how a group had come and had uh, put paneling in her sister's, in her sister's house. I yeah. think her sister was, had cancer mm -hmm. and uh, yeah. that was her, her last wish. Yeah. And 
So she was just so appreciative yeah. for it, for everything. And, um, and, and the people here just are just, they're just all so special and make yeah. you feel so welcome in, well, in every way. Yeah. And we, I appreciate you saying that because, you know, and that's another thing that, 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 you know, that I really feel is, is true and that I want people to, to recognize is, you know, is that, that's not put on. Right. You know, that's real. Right. And, and you know, you, you all can sense that when mm -hmm. it's, uh, you know, when it's, forced or you know right. you know whether well that's what they're you know feel like they're supposed to do and, and between that and what's sincere when people really right. appreciate you and and, um, and they do you know mm -hmm. and i was born and raised here lived here my whole life and i love this area and, and love this community and, and and love this ministry and and i i love the fact that folks like you come and and want to be a part of that and you know, and that's that's a wonderful thing. Sometimes I wonder if if the local community realizes that 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 you and folks like you come and want to be a part of that. Of course, that's a God thing. You're, right. you're answering that call and going where God leads you. But you know that I mean, a lot of places you folks could go. You know, we're not the only mission in the across the country in places, but you choose to come here, and uh, it's more than just oh well, Henderson Settlement does this. You know, it's it's the people. Right, right, and, and we we appreciate that. Now tell me, so so um, uh, you know you've done mentioned a few of those things, but what tell us just a, a little bit more about some of the things you've done this week. Some of the things we've done, okay, like I said, uh, some of us have worked with the seniors, helping with mm -hmm. crafts, uh, worshiping with them, you know, mm -hmm. in the little worship service, working in the thrift store. Mm -hmm. Some have been. Uh, Working, I believe, sorting mums, I believe, oh, yeah. down in the greenhouse. Yeah. Preparing um, orders, I think. Some people are preparing made, orders, yeah. right. Yeah. I think there have been some people weed eating down around the greenhouses yeah. Yeah. and yeah, I saw, weed eating I, down that way. Yeah, I saw one guy said when he was weed eating, there was one guy holding another guy by the feet and he was down chewing on weed. <laughs> I, th I said, well, that's not quite how we do it around here. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that did not happen. I made that up. I'm sorry. I apologize. That's it's not yeah. yeah. So anyway, go ahead. But, but then you know, working in in sorting the the baby clothes yeah. this morning, and uh, you know, we had several working on that, and um, trying to think of some other things. Um, have you worked in the food pantry? Any? Did you say that? Well, we, I went in there this morning. I think maybe some did. I yeah. went in there this morning, and she was needing some boxes broke down. Yeah. But I think that was yeah. about the only yeah. need at that time. Yeah, I think they had the really that. hard or heavy. A lot of folks kind of came in yesterday, right? Um, pretty, pretty heavy with that, or Tuesday maybe, but yeah. So yeah, that, that. but there, I mean, there's just so many different things. There are. And, and now, what if you don't mind saying this and again? This is another loaded question. <laughs> Got to be careful. So you know, what is what would be like the the youngest age in your group up to maybe the oldest participant this week in the group? Roughly, you may not know. Okay, that, but, the youngest. Um, I'm going to say the oldest around 80, mm -hmm. yeah. higher than 80. Wow, 80 plus. Nice. 80 plus. Nice. The youngest is you, of course. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> 50s? Yeah. yeah. 50s. Yeah. Anywhere and, and, from 50 to, to early 80s yeah. would be the range, I would yeah. say. Yeah. Well, and, and I asked that question, obviously, for a reason. And, and again, just to, to illustrate that, um, you know, there's, what you've already touched on, you know, there's, you don't have to have a special skill or, right. or know exactly what you're going to do when you come here. You know, if, and, and regardless of your age or your mobility or, or your, um, what, whatever that may be, you know, there's, if, if you want to serve, that's the thing. Absolutely. That's, that's the one thing that when people ask, you know, well, I've got such and such, you know, and they worry, they might not, you know, the, the bottom line is if you want to serve, there's things for you to do. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. And, and you know, that's uh, one, one of the things when I first started doing uh, the work camp part of this ministry and back in the early 90s, uh, the person that, that was uh, here before me, uh, the thing that he said to me that has always stuck with me was he said, you'll, you'll never go wrong if, if we, when people are looking to find out about the place to come here. He said, if you just ask them or, or relate to them one thing, which is, you know, come to serve and not be served, then it won't matter. Right. Right. You know, and and that is, you know, we we always get that. You know, people come for the right reasons. Right. Yeah. And um, we we just appreciate it. And you the know. first night we were here, we actually um, had the 
the pleasure of enjoying the bluegrass band. Oh yeah, Ooh. which was absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Oh, they were so yeah. good, and um, that they they really touched us. And and some of the locals that that we've met mm -hmm. uh, that have just really been an inspiration to yeah. us. Yeah. You know, and, that, uh, you know and, and another thing, and I've said this before probably too, but you know, oftentimes I think people think, well, if we work on the in the community, I don't get the chance to to. Uh, if I work on campus and not the community, I don't get the opportunity to meet local folks. But that's not the case. I mean, most of the staff are our local folks. Right, right. So it's easier. In, in some ways, you're meeting more local folks by, uh, by, by doing that. So. One thing this morning, as we were doing our devotion out on the little, the little um, outdoor chapel there, mm -hmm. yeah. and, um, and it was very foggy this morning. Yes, you was. couldn't see down off the, off the mountain yeah. or, or the cross or anything. And at the end of our devotion, uh, we had a song that we listened to. Surely the presence of the Lord is in this place. Mm -hmm. And as that song was playing, the fog started to rise. How about that? And it was so beautiful. That's, and that's it, and by the time yeah. the song was over, the cross over on the hillside was visible. So it's wow. like, surely the presence of the Lord mm -hmm. is in this place yeah. and was in this wow. place and continues to be. Man. So. God bless you for all yeah. you do. Well, thank you. That is, I cannot have picked a better way to, to end today's program than that. Man, it, it, that was, was, it was I impressive. Chills. That it was, just, that was, tears came to my eyes yeah. because, yeah. you know, it, it was amazing. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. I love mm -hmm. that. Thank you for sharing that. Now, I, I will say before I close out, I, we, you've, got, you've got a couple of friends with you here off camera. They're kind of <laughs> sitting in the back. What's their name? Let's just, let's just get their name out there just in case. Maybe they might be wanted by the law or something. <laughs> We have Ann Sales. Ann Sales. And we have Patty Jeans. Patty Jeans. Oh, yes. Yeah. And then. What, um, is, what does Ann sell? What does she sell? Yeah, Ann Sales. <laughs> what what, do, what do you sell, Ann? Yeah, let's, we might not want to get into that uh, no, <laughs> medical marijuana or something like that. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Boy. Yeah. yeah. She is a good cook. Oh, is that right? Yeah. You might could use her down in the kitchen. We, we might have to bring her on. Absolutely. Yeah. That, now, that was not a comment saying that the meals are bad. No, that's the not meals what are wonderful. Yeah, that's not what she's saying. I made no. the comment to somebody yesterday. This is like getting on a cruise ship. When you leave, you're going to have gained five yeah. pounds. Well, that's good. That's good. Because <laughs> it's every time we turn around, it's time to go eat again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We believe in a lot of things, and eating is right at the top of that That's list. right. We don't don't all good yeah. Methodists yeah. believe in well, Of course. Yeah. We meet to eat. That's, That's right. right. Absolutely. That's one of those things. Well, folks, we appreciate you. Now, next week, we're going to probably spend uh, quite a bit of time, again, kind of focusing on the uh, the fall festival we've got coming up on the 22nd of this month. So that would just be a couple of weeks from now, I guess. Uh, but uh, we want to focus on that a little bit. Uh, so uh, hopefully Casey has fallen out of the tree. That nut has not been <laughs> stuffed up in there. Uh, hey, I, hey, I, hey, hey. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, for a minute, I thought it might have been the Lord speaking to me. But I guess, <laughs> maybe, uh, I was Jerry! Here. What? Yes! Well, Jerry! I, you know, Casey! <laughs> hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Come over here, Casey! We, I thought you and Mike Feely had been picked up by a squirrel and stuffed up in a tree somewhere. Well, there were a lot of squirrels there today, but none, yeah. none of them tried to stuff me in a tree. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> now, quick, real quick, tell me, tell me why you were not right here at the beginning of this show today. Tell well, me. because it yeah. starts yesterday. Yeah. That they installed the high tunnel, the, high, the, the oh. covered greenhouse. Yeah, so you got to drive so, up a hill, go through a tunnel. Yeah, go down through. No, no, it's not it's, the kind of tunnel. It's like <laughs> they call it a greenhouse, basically, but it just oh. doesn't have mm -hmm. a heater for over the winter, and it doesn't have. Yeah. Uh, but it's going to have irrigation, and on, we got a water recovery system, and all nice. kinds of fun stuff. Nice. So, so you put that together to, by yourself? No. We had uh, Mennonites come do that from Martins over in Casey so County. Yeah, you had some wow. men working at night. Yeah, men, Mennonites Mennonite. working. They probably wished it had been a night. It'd been a whole lot cooler. Oh, oh the Mennonites! I'm sorry. Yeah. No, I'm not making fun. Not Mennonites. I apologize. They, they'd no, rather I, have been at night. I, I misunderstood. Yeah, it was yeah pretty, I misunderstood. Pretty too. toasty. Yeah, 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 I, I do see. I bring that up just because well, we want to thank those folks. For yes, and, and yes. assisting <laughs> Casey and, work. and the farm folks with that. That was did a tremendous job. Got all that up one day. Yes, except yeah. for the irrigation system. Oh, That's yeah. they well. they came back today to finish the irrigation. Oh, they system. were back today. I didn't yeah. realize that. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. we paid them. We were hoping they come back. Today. Oh well, that's it. And then today, this morning, I went over the other side of Williamsburg and actually had some learning about how to use a high tunnel. You had some learning. Yeah, that got me some fetching up. Yeah, listen, that's one thing we don't we don't allow that around here. People ain't got no learning. <laughs> Well, I learned I got to learn a little bit more. You, did, yeah. <laughs> you know, I was, I, you know, I don't know what I had pictured in my mind about this high tunnel thing for the greenhouse 
area. Uh, but when I went up on the hill yesterday to to the park, the campus, yes, know, had my little parade. People, yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and I looked over and I thought, man, they must they must have uh, you know put new plastic on that greenhouse. And then I realized, no, that, that isn't. That's the high tunnel, I guess. Yeah, it's a new greenhouse. Yeah, it's quite a bit taller yeah. than the regular greenhouse. Yeah, it's, it's, it's so yeah. you can drive a small tractor in yeah. there, which. I'm hoping, awesome. hoping to get a small garden tractor that I have with some implements. So I noticed on Facebook, I don't, you probably haven't had a chance to no. um, to get to some of the questions and whatnot, but some people was a lot of comments about the, the oh, picture of the moms. moms on yes. And one of the questions was, you know, how much? They're $6. $6 a, a pot. Yeah, eight inch pot and they're, you know, maybe about a foot across. Eight inch pot is about what, eight inches? About eight inches, yeah. <laughs> I know it's hard for you as a man to measure that. Yeah, yeah, well, I, yeah, we take, yeah, we take measure out. Yeah, that sort of thing. And they're just coming into bloom. So, oh, they are. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so do you have any other size pots? Uh, well, I do have the ability to have some 10-inch yeah. pots, and they're they're great big things like this, but they're harder to manage. They are. And they get broke and that sort of stuff. So I'm only taking orders for those. 8-inch pots. So the, the ten inch, it's a ten inch pot, and yeah. I mean they're like a bushel basket. Yeah, they're pretty good size. Yeah, I got some down so, at the. So an eight inch pot cost how much? The eight inch, the small ones are six dollars. Six dollars, that's what I thought. And then was. the big ones are twelve. The big ones are twelve, but wow. but you're not taking orders for any big ones, so let's not talk. Well, about no, them. I'm taking orders for big. Oh, you are. I mean, but I'm not <laughs> getting any in. Oh yeah. We yeah, never mind. Just keep talking. Let's talk about eight inch pots. <laughs> and I've also been contacted by a couple schools that want to oh. put orders in again this year. So we're doing good on that. Man, that's great. And I have a couple of churches that are bringing down donations that are going to take moms back with them. That's oh, wow. Right. So uh, one of them is Loveland that did it in the spring of spring, yeah. spring flowers. Yeah, that's good. So they're working on that too. That is fantastic. Good to know. And I see. So so the minute I get that up, they're back finishing up the irrigation and whatnot today. Yeah. And and see, you went some for some learning. Yep. Uh, or you might call that training, perhaps. Yeah. Uh, we we'll call it learning. Casey, good learning. Good good times farm. Good it's time. Spelled T H Y M E S. Oh, times. Good times. times. Wow. You know, like yeah. rosemary seed. See, right there, goes to show you. We ain't got little learning. We can't even spell it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things. You know the biggest thing I learned? What did you learn? That I need more learning. Yeah. <laughs> that, you know. that I oh I'm blocking blue. Sorry about I, that. I, blue. Blue's upset about that. Now I've seen blue don't get blue's all right. <laughs> blue's blue's in a he's in a state today. Yeah. Yeah. He come in, one of these ladies come in and plop down in his lap. Oh my goodness. He, he been, I noticed he was sitting a little askew there. He's been wound up ever since, you know. He's complaining and going on. Hey, hey, what's up with that? <laughs> so there you have it. Miss Blue, I'm, I'm, Blue sees that we've got trouble. You, are you? you kinda, I'm sneaking off again because I gotta pretend like I'm doing something else, like oh, some real work this afternoon. Oh, well, this is real work. Oh, well, Casey, it's good to see you. <laughs> the nut has fallen from the tree. Mike Feely, do you know anything about him? He'll be back. Squirrel bringing him next back. week. Next oh, week, he's going to get bringing him back next, next week. week. That's all right. Dropping him off somewhere alongside the road. Cracking that shell is a little <laughs> tough. It's taking a while to crack that shell. That's right. All right, well, folks, God bless you, and uh, we'll see you back here next Thursday at one o'clock. Uh, Y'all have a fantastic rest of the week and early part of next week. And until we see you again, God bless. Thank you. Thank you.